congratulations if you're watching this, you survived Mother's Day 2016 in the food industry. So let's start off this week talking about local fish. Now, we have Chad here, who's my friend downstairs in the warehouse at Samuels, and he's starting off with a beautiful North Carolina first of season head-on mahi. So Chad, tell me, uh, how big was this fish? This fish is roughly about 10 to 12 pounds. 10 to 12 pounds of pure beauty there. Thank you, Chad. I know uh, you have some wild salmon to receive? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Well, that was a nice uh, cameo. So yeah, as I'm gonna continue, we have beautiful North Carolina head on mahi. This is local fish. This is the first this season, so we're always very excited. A lot of great things happening locally. We have trap caught corgis, black sea bass, and squid. Now, what's great about when these traps are put out, it's a very sustainable method. The bait put into them attracts only certain catch. And once the traps are brought up, the fish are still alive, so they're in pristine shape. Now, these are caught off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, along with Rhode Island. Now, one thing I do want to bring up are our beautiful 18 and up Virginia striped bass. And also, if you want to get your orders in for Florida stone crab claws, now is the time. The season does close on May 15th, and Samuels has all sizes available. All right, now here on the East Coast, we love soft shell crabs, and it's a great time because now is the time of season in North Carolina where crabs are beginning to molt out of their hard shells. So Samuels is speaking with all of our local crabbers in North Carolina and bringing them up here to Philadelphia to provide you with the best and freshest soft shell crabs. We have all sizes available. Hail to the king, King Salmon that is, and Samuels is bringing it in from all over the place. We just got our first shipment in from the Columbia River. Now the Columbia River is about 1,200 miles long in the Pacific Northwest. These particular King Salmon were caught near the mouth of the river, which is near the sea. So they're spending a lot of time getting nice and fat for you chefs and foodies out there. They won't spawn again until the fall. Now, at the same time, Samuels is bringing in wild king salmon from off the coast of Alaska. Now, a lot of the Alaska fish are troll caught, which means it eliminates a lot of bycatch, and the fishermen bring on these beautiful fish on board pretty much right after catch, so the quality is all there. It definitely is beginning to become an exciting season as Samuels is bringing wild king salmon from rivers, bays, and the ocean from all over the place. Now, speaking of sales, I'm about getting one of these in your hands. Okay, you caught me taking a break, but I'm actually tasting product here. Do you know this month, Samuels has chicken salad and breaded oysters on sale throughout the entire month of May? Now, it's actually a part of history here in Philadelphia. It's an old tradition. Uh, back in the 18th century, when chicken was pretty expensive and oysters were very abundant, as they still are now, a lot of taverns in Philadelphia would pair them up together to make it a very value-added meal and still keep everybody coming in happy and full. Now Samuels is a very proud Philadelphia institution and some of our customers still do this to this day including bars like the Old Bar and the Sansom Street Oyster House. So what we're doing for you guys out there to keep this alive, we have these both items on sale the whole month. We have breaded oysters on sale for $49 a case and then we have homemade chicken salad on sale for just $19 per unit and they're big five pound units. Now this is Bill Bradford saying, remember, we're not broadcasters, we're fish people. That also sell chicken salad.